choice. I'm done running. How's it going guys? It's Dylan from Anything Super, and if you're new, be sure to subscribe with notifications so you stay up to date with all the latest MCU news. As many of you know, Marvel Studios always has a huge plan for what they're going to do in the future, and with the pandemic pushing a ton of movies around and switching up release dates, I thought it would be a good idea to update and add to the list of Phase 4 Marvel movies. The future of the MCU is surrounded by a lot of confusion and mystery, so I'm going to explain it all today. I'll go through all the confirmed fills and when they're coming out, then I'll move on to the unconfirmed ones. First off, the solo movie fans have been waiting for. Black Widow was originally set to hit theaters on May 1st of this year, but has sadly been postponed due to the coronavirus. Its new release date is November 6th. A lot of promotional content for Black Widow has already been made public, so don't expect a ton of major trailers soon. However, you can get ready to expect smaller TV spots and clips to start dropping in the fall, and we'll make sure to cover those whenever they come out. What's really interesting about Black Widow's delay is the impact it has on the rest of the MCU. Natasha's solo film took the place of Eternals, which was originally going to come out in November as well. It's pretty simple for the most part. Marvel has kind of just pushed most of the upcoming films further away by one spot in the schedule. As I just talked about, The Eternals was once going to be released in November 2020. Now it's been moved to February 12th, 2021, which takes the spot of Shang-Chi. The Eternals had a couple concept art images leaked, but we haven't gotten a trailer just yet. However, there have been rumors that Marvel Studios is just sitting on the Eternals first look, waiting to see when they should drop it. A teaser for this film is likely to come out within a few months. Even though we don't have any video footage just yet, there have been a few plot leaks, and I'll link to those videos in the description. We also know who the cast is going to be, which is super exciting. Now, on to Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. It moved from February 12th to May 7th, 2021. Little is known about the movie, however, the real Mandarin is going to be the big bad guy. The Mandarin was teased in Iron Man 3 and will hopefully be done justice in Shang-Chi. Then the whole summer is left open and we move on to November 5th of 2021. Spider-Man 3 is set for that release date at the moment, although filming delays could push that back even further. The third Tom Holland Spidey flick was going to hit theaters in the summer of 2021, but has been pushed back to November next year instead. We did a whole video covering everything that we know about Spider-Man 3, including major title possibilities, so the link will be available in the description. Next, on February 11th, 2022, comes the fourth Thor movie, Love and Thunder. Natalie Portman, who plays Jane, is set to become Lady Thor in the film, and it's also been rumored that Christian Bale will appear as an antagonist, Beta Ray Bill. After that, we have the Doctor Strange sequel in the Multiverse of Madness. This movie was delayed from May 7th, 2021 to March 25th, 2022. Doctor Strange 2 is said to be the MCU's first scary film, and will show the Scarlet Witch teaming up with Steven. Together, they'll fire Baron Mordo as a side villain, and possibly Nightmare as the big bad guy. On May 6, 2022, Black Panther 2 is going to be released. The main cast from the original is going to return, and has been rumored to feature Wolverine and Namor. Then comes Captain Marvel 2 on July 8, 2022. This movie will be huge for the next big MCU event. Scrolls will, again, play a huge role and could help us set up an Avengers Secret Invasion storyline. The last confirmed movie does not have a set release date at the moment. I'm talking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is said to see a Thor cameo as well as Adam Warlock. Those are all the upcoming confirmed MCU movies, but there are a couple others I just want to mention. These are unconfirmed, but very likely to happen. We have Ant-Man 3, which will let us know more about the Quantum Realm. We'll also get Nova, which will dive deeper into the superhero and is probably going to be an origin story. In the years beyond Phase 4, also get ready to see Fantastic Four, X-Men, and Blade movies. Which upcoming MCU Phase 4 movie are you the most hyped for? Black Widow? Thor Love and Thunder? Comment your thoughts down below. That's all I have for you guys today. If you're new, remember to slam the subscribe button because whenever new information comes out, we'll be reporting it. 
Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter at SuperAnything for all the latest updates right when the news breaks. See you all very soon. This has been Dylan from Anything Super.